coming in we got to get out of here because this is the wash it's a basically a little stream all the water will come here and it'll be a flash flood so where are we Andre we are in Brewster County Texas on the hunt for some Lake Cretaceous fossils Right now we're just driving up a random creek. Hopefully, hopefully we get to the goods. This is not recommended in wet conditions. Especially to drive up a creek? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. And how do you know like where's a good spot to hunt? Ah. Uh, Geological survey maps pretty much have everything you'd ever need to know about where fossils could be or should be. Um, you know, all the great geologists of the early 20th century or the 20th century just you know studied all the outcroppings across the United States and produced these wonderful maps of the different strata of age rocks. And there's these uh, glossaries that come with the maps, and you can say. You know, there's a symbol KA, it's green with some dashes, and that might be Camp Ranch Formation. And you can go to the glossary and it'll say, you know, uh, marine megafauna and these types of ammonites. So you know that, well, wherever that, I can get an exposure in that particular color, those types of fossils are potentially there. So you can really replicate that anywhere in the United States as long as you have one of these geological survey maps. So this is it. We're gonna park here and we're gonna walk these hills and hopefully find a dinosaur. Four hours. It's gonna be a long day. Yeah. Oh, that's javelina, yeah, most definitely. Because look how the deposition's different. Yep, totally. All the agujas on a on an anticline because of the volcanism, and then this is overlaid. And unless it's that weird Paleocene nonconformity. Yeah, it's not the nonconformity, I don't think. I mean, it's just this classic javelina. Mr. Bob Javelina. Mr. Javelina, Mr. Bob Javelina. <laughs> javelina, Mr. Bob Javelina. All right. Go get some bones. Mr. Bob Dabalina. Cretaceous poop. Species, species. Species, species. Yeah, it's got some nice uh, characteristics. Good solid, a good solid stool is is always a recommended sign of a healthy animal. Probably a male, age uh, 17, 18. Well, if it's any younger than that, then that's what you just said is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of debris on the ground here, and there's a mix of wood and bone. And if you're not really familiar with what you're looking at, it's easy to be confused. So here we've got some petrified wood. It's kind of fine grain and uh, 
the, the cell structure is pretty consistent. Uh, here we've got some bone and it's got more of a open cellular structure that you can see the fortification of the pores is a calcite crystal so a lot of times you'll get a good contrast between the bone and whatever the mineral that it's mineralized in so that'll help you tell the difference um, and a lot of times the bone it's got a different sound this is a little bit more tingy and light uh, whereas the bones a little bit more dense so just a little tip to help you make your fossil hunting more successful That's just a rock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if you want, you know, if you want to call it something cool, you can call it like a a lever right. You know, you just leave it right there. Ah. Uh. See what you did there? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, cool. So what we've got here is a, uh, looks like part of a limb bone. Just take these sections out right here. It's pretty, pretty weathered. You can see there's dirt in between the fractures. So that tells me this bone's been broken for a long time. Uh, kind of exciting. I thought laying here that it looked maybe like a brow horn of a ceratops type dinosaur. Guha ceratops or Bravo ceratops that you can find in this formation, but uh, it looks like it's just a weathered chunk of bone. Um, very cool. We're going to collect it anyways. Could be important when we clean it up. We'll find some diagnostic features. Maybe it has some predator uh, bite marks on it or some feeding wear, which would make even just a scrap of bone pretty interesting and scientifically important. Oh, look at this vertebrae. Perfect little hadrosaur vertebrae just sitting on the clay. That's amazing. Beautiful, beautiful little tail vert. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Can you bring it all the way up to the camera? Look at that. So what is this? This would be a little uh, plant-eating dinosaur uh, in the hadrosaur family. Hadrosaur day. And, uh, Based on the size, you know, it's kind of hard to say. It could be a juvenile critosaur, or it could be a griposaur, griposaur, however you like to pronounce that. But it's a more, uh, you know, it's a little bit smaller species of hadrosaur. But that's definitely a hadrosaur tail vertebrae. And we know that because of some, you know, the way the vertebra is pinched and this little ridge on the bottom and these uh, process where the processes would connect. Um, that those are all diagnostic features of the hadrosaur. So, yeah, that's a great fossil. I'm very happy to find that. Excellent. Okay, so I've just found my first important fossil here, and it's a hadrosaur. Hadrosaur. Hadrosaur toe bone. So, pretty neat. But yeah, I mean to me. At first glance, this definitely just looks like a rock. You know, I wouldn't think twice about it. In fact, I might have thrown it back, but I asked Andre if it was anything important, and he was stoked, so there you go. Don't hold back, show me the good stuff. This is the tragedy. My God! Oh, too bad, huh? I That's told a... you, do they get like four inches long? Isn't that wouldn't oh, have been a fucking crazy? That's still like a you know oh. several hundred dollars. Very nice. Look at this tail. Ooh, that's a nice one. Cool. Look at this tail. An astragalus or a calcaneus. That was a little packy dome at first. <sighs> I found a really nice Critosaurus tooth right here. Now, Critosaurus was one of the duckbill dinosaurs. Uh, hadrosaurs. People know them as duckbills. But when I find fossils like that, obviously it's in the channel. Uh, it's considered float. It's not really associated to a skeleton. Uh, so the scientific information uh, 
is, is really not that great other than a survey of density of these types of fossils. But I like to take a picture of them in situ like this in the formation. And uh, you know, if a collector is interested in a piece like this and asks for context, you know, what, what kind of formation was it found in? You know, I want to add some more information to my identification cards. I can send them something like that. And uh, sometimes I'll even collect a little soil uh, to send as well. Let them screen through it and see if they can find any smaller fossils. So that's a good one. We're going to bag it. All right, so this is find of the day, maybe find of the trip if we don't find anything better. But um, it's a giant tyrannosaur tooth, a big one. It is broken up a little bit, but it's not shattered, and uh, it, it couldn't be in any better shape for being broken. We got the base right here, uh, which is over an inch long. The middle section is laying right here, and the tip, which appears to be perfect, is right here. So all together, this is probably a three inch tooth. Uh, you know, phenomenal, phenomenal find. It doesn't get much better than that unless you find a, a four inch one that's laying there. But uh, that's what it's all about, that right there. So I'm just gonna pluck this off. Oh my gosh. Look at those serrations on the back of that tooth. Wow. Can you imagine being eaten alive by this thing? So we've got that. We've got the midsection, perfect condition, right here. That'll articulate like that. Let me just lay this out in my hand for you. So we got that, we got the midsection, oh. And then we've got the tip. Oh, and the tip is beautiful, oh, it's beautiful. So there you have it, king of the beasts. Tyrannosaurus tooth, perfect. I'll get that home, clean it up, glue it back together, and uh, that'll be a museum quality specimen. Can you bring it a little closer? Yeah, check that out. Yeah, that's big. There it is. That's great, man. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So I was complaining earlier about my feet, how they were feeling so hot from the black rubber rind it covers this, protects it from cactus spikes and whatnot. And I was sitting in the shade and I noticed my whole soul had melted and moved over and it's totally resealed the glue. It didn't just come off, it's like cooled back down. That's how hot it is out here. First round of drinks is on me. All, All right. right. My belly button. I'll pull, pick the lint out of that for you. <laughs> it's like the, uh, it, it's like the uh, um, martini, like uh, onion. It's going to be all salty lint. And... What's going on? Take it back. <laughs> Days like today are fun when they happen. They don't happen every day. Though. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. We got a tooth, Dinosuchus jaw, uh, toe bones, vertebrae. Pretty amazing. You get one in this, you get one like this in 20. Pause for celebration. It's a celebration! It's a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> you know it's coming. Kind of oh, I know it's coming. Kind of yeah! What? Okay! Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> That's probably my best little John ever. My vocal cords hurt really bad, but... That's how you know you did it right. Yeah, exactly.